what is up guys we are back it's an HMG rank 10 finally a recon and I wanted to show you my sniper rifle the Springfield M1903 and uh, what I wanted to talk about is the loadout for maximum damage and how I have mine loaded out right now I actually have that in there but uh, anyways when you go recon uh, this is US side only you'll get the uh, birdie clay mk3s which increase your damage as you can see so we were using the uh, match m72s as standard infantry with a sniper rifle and you can see the significant difference right there um, the only difference in these besides damage is the fact that um, this is going to be our spread using the match m72s okay and if we go with the birdie clay mk3s this is our spread right here so we drop out pretty much at about uh, 200 meters. We're going to be taking more than one shot to kill someone. And from there it's just, it's worse. So um, when, it's th when it comes to consistency uh, and one hit kills with longer distances, so right here is about 300 meters, I would stick with the match M72s, guys, because uh, your pattern is going to be uh, tighter. You're going to be more accurate. And I've tested this, these Birdie, MK, Birdie Clay MK3s, and they're not... Uh, not as what they're cut out to be, so I wouldn't use those. I'd stay away from those. As far as scopes, if you go recon, you make rank nine and decide, yeah, you want to go recon. Um, the fine cross and the fine duplex, your nerdle eight times scope is the way to go. However, the fine duplex is harder to use than the fine cross. I found because they tend to uh, obscure your view. But uh, if you want to go extreme, this is the one I use. As far as the trigger, now these uh, you don't actually have to use these. I actually wouldn't because most of them just decrease your stability which is going to uh, throw your accuracy off a little bit however they do increase rounds per minute which is going to be faster firing per shot and, the re and how do you tell um, the rate of fire is you just select one it's going to tell you rate of fire 36 rounds per minute my current 137 this one's 41 and so on so that one being the best uh, but uh, I usually don't use these typically because it just makes the gun less accurate the heavy bolt you want to keep that that's going to give you the one hit kill now when you when you go recon it unlocks a different barrel as well which is the chrome molly 4150 which is going to give you a significant damage increase however it's also going to increase your spread so you're going to be less accurate with that as well so I typically use the scout too uh, you can use it if you want to but uh, you're just going to be less accurate however it doesn't really affect the uh, range so I mean uh, it's worth it to use it Alright, that being said, got our 1911 here, got it set up for uh, fast firing. Uh, we're going to get in game and show you guys some kills with this Yonodal scope. Here we go.
I'm gonna light up the bridge, okay? And kill that tank at it. Go get it. Tank under the bridge, man. Right under the bridge, right now. Now I'm waiting for four. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. Tank coming up on X1. 